What's up, guys? Eric, I'm in the studio here with my Arm Italian XL, uh, Big Bird. She's an absolute beast. The thing handles like it's on rails and flies so nice. Uh, the, the special thing about this rig is it's ultra light, uh, sporting uh, mainly uh, Basher Queen parts. I want to give a big thank you to the guys from Sokoken Lipos for sending out this battery to try. Uh, this sucker is a 7200 milliamp 100C Lipo. Uh, packs lots of punch. I've done a couple of yard tests just trying these out, and I can't wait to put it in a rig for some sins and see how they hold up. So again, big thank you to those guys. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description for these batteries. As far as the breakdown of the rig here, again, it does have the M2C Mojave chassis. The sucker's been through a lot of punishment, a lot of hard sins, and she's still perfectly straight. So again, big shout out to M2C Racing. It also has the M2C Racing drive shafts in it, uh, which have been released uh, not too long ago. If you guys want to check that out, here's a quick shot of one right here. As you can see, they are uh, quite beefcake thick in the middle and then tapered down. Uh, super tough, made from a quality steel. I've had no issues of these bending so far. So uh, it's definitely a must in the uh, long wheelbase like this if you're going to build an XL version. The front drive shaft has been shortened two millimeters to allow for some chassis flex because uh, some guys that had a build uh, similar to this were having issues with the front drive shaft bending uh, basically from chassis flex. So that pretty much eliminates that. You're pretty excited to have another awesome set of ABEC 5 premium bearings, rubber sealed bearings from Garrett Howe. Uh, check out his eBay store, Definitive Solutions. I'll put a link to that also in the description. These are some butter, butter smooth bearings. They, they hold up to a lot of abuse. And being ABAC 5, they're machined very nice, uh, very, very high tolerances. So you guys check those out. It's pretty cool that they're yellow too, so it matches the yellow body. Truck is running the Max 8 ESC with the Hobby Star 4082 uh, 2000 kV motor. I've also got some supports back there with some felt padding, basically what you move your furniture with. Uh, sticks to the chassis and helps support the embell of that motor. Uh, it's perfect electronics. Again, I wanted to keep this truck light, so that's why I chose the lighter electronics. Right now, I'm on a 23-tooth pinion. A big thank you to uh, 3DRC for sending out these awesome wing mounts. This baby has tons of flex in it, uh, so there shouldn't be any issues of that sucker snapping off. It also helps save the rear end, because if you have a hard smack, this sucker is going to really flex and kind of help save everything. It's super nice work. It's even etched in there, 3DRC, so I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You guys want to check that out. The biggest upgrades on this rig is all the amazing Basher Queen parts that really keep this sucker light and tough. I've got the Basher Queen uh, towers on it, front and rear. Her amazing tower to tower brace right here. Here's a quick shot of her servo mount. It's absolutely beautiful work. All stainless steel hardware. And also her uh, ESC plate right here. It holds uh, several different ESCs. I've got the Max 8 on here. It holds the Max 6. Uh, the stock ESCs and also some of the castle ESCs, I believe. One of the coolest things about this is it also has a mounting position for your switch. It's got a place to run your screws up through the bottom of it to really hold that sucker secure so it doesn't bust off. Nothing worse than a switch floating around in the rig when you don't realize it. Um, but it's a flawless fit. Absolutely beautiful work. And one thing I'm really excited about, guys, it's kind of hard to see in here, but it's the Basher Queen Pure Force, a servo saver. This sucker is adjustable and has a locking uh, set screw to lock it into place. It's also got uh, rubber sealed bearings along with shims. So it eliminates all the play right here at the bell crank arm. So everything is just super butter smooth. Very nice machine work uh, once again by Basher Queen. I'm running her top plate in here along with the steering uh, Ackerman bar. Maybe kind of hard to see that. So far I've had no issues with those. Everything's been holding up nice. And one sweet thing is she also drills out for a four mil uh, bolt right here to house this M2C Racing front chassis brace. Same thing on her towers back here. The holes are drilled out for the four mil to house like an M2C uh, shock standoff right there so it just bolts right up so you don't have to worry about drilling out. So that's pretty cool that she does that. She also has HD versions of some of her parts. Uh, guys, this is a five millimeter thick a top plate. So you talk about super tough. Also a thicker version of her Ackerman bar. To get this stance on her, she's running Creighton hubs plus the M2C plus five millimeter universal hexes, which is perfect for an application like this. Or if you want to trugify a Typhon to give you that extra clearance off the hubs. As far as the diff setup, it's running uh, RTR diffs. Uh, fully shimmed. I've got uh, 50,000 in the front, 1 million in the center, and 30,000 in the rear. Uh, right now, I'm running the uh, Belta guitars on it just to uh, try to keep this thing as stable as possible, especially at high speed and hard sends. We've had a ton of rain here lately, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get out in the dirt with this thing, but I definitely want to get out and uh, uh, play with it. So This truck comes in just under 9 pounds, which is about the weight of a standard Italian. Uh, that's without tires and batteries. Uh, so That's a huge testament to all the uh, premium carbon fiber parts by Basher Queen to keep this baby light. So a lighter weight truck is less stress on other parts, and uh, she also flies nice. So again, big thank you to a Basher Queen. We'll get her out and see what's up.
Hey guys, this thing is so much fun. Handles so nice. Those batteries are packing lots of punch too. Whoops. Looks like she's good. Oh, nice little uh, tower test. Guys, that was a brutal shaver. Yeah, it looked like it smacked rear end pretty hard too. I had a Basher Queen and M2C racing tough. Oh, that was close. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and switch packs before I start doing the bigger sends. Nothing like uh, going LVC in midair. Uh, so far, these packs are holding up. Uh, the case looks good on it. No misshapen to the battery. Uh, it's just a little bit warm. So far, it's not bad at all. So a big shout out to a Sokokan batteries. Yeah, big bird flies nice. <laughs> Yeah guys, it's extra tricky hitting the ramp from right here because the ramp is kind of up on the hill. Plus uh, the, with the angle of the ramp and the way this road slopes down, it's, it's virtually a blind launch. Uh, there's like a second or two where I can't even see the truck at all. So I just have to hope I have a straight line. So it's pretty tricky. Gets the blood pumping for sure. Talk about a mega front flip. Sounds like I got a diff getting ready to let go. All right guys, that's gonna be it for right now. I just wanted to give this thing a quick little uh, test, uh, some high speed rips and sends. Again, it's too muddy in the dirt spots because it rained for like a week straight. Just wanted to get her out and send her a few times and see what she'd take. Uh, sounds like I got a, either a diff going out or this uh, rear drive cup right here is really loose and the bearing is sliding in and out. It's probably what it is. I'm losing mesh on my ring and pinion. So I'll get that fixed up. But everything else in here, all the Basher Queen stuff looks absolutely perfect still. So all the M2C parts in here, perfectly straight still. Drive shafts are straight. Chassis, of course, is straight. So again, big thanks to M2C Racing and uh, Basher Queen, also 3DRC for the wing mount. And uh, the batteries are holding up well. They uh, definitely pack a punch. Uh, this is the second pack in here. It's nowhere near dead yet. I did bust a battery strap somewhere along the line, but it's no biggie. But all right, guys, it was a lot of fun. We'll get out again soon. RC Dude 81, peace out. Oh, <laughs> bro.